you guys welcome back to my channel um tonight we are going to be experimenting with something that i saw on instagram alter ego nails do this and now i want to do it i have never ever seen anybody else do this i think it's something new new and it's super cool so i went to costco the other day and i bought their ginormous bundle pack of sharpies so I have every color to test out or experiment with with you guys tonight and um, if you guys haven't seen this I think it's super cool I think it's gonna be an awesome way to figure things out so what you're gonna need is sharpies obviously not this many one or two colors will work depending on what your design is that you're wanting to do but sharpies and this is totally just an experiment um, I have white paper to put the stamps on and I have some black swatches as well to try out. So let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna start with this uber chic plate. This is Yay Spring. And all this girl did was, okay, and we're gonna stamp it onto this paper right here. So let me get out my, I'm gonna use my uber chic stamper. Okay, all she did, which I just like was amazed by. So we're gonna use this neon green, a neon pink, maybe this lavender purple, and let's do this fun. So we're using these four colors. Um, and all she did was, and I did like read her posts and she said, the more you stay in the lines, the cleaner it is. I know what you guys are thinking. You're putting Sharpie on your stamping plate. Hopefully it comes off. It did for her. So maybe I should have tried this on a design that wasn't like my favorite. Okay, too late now. Okay, and then we're gonna use some pink on this flower. I can only imagine though, this probably like rips up your Sharpies cause I can already hear it like dragging funny on the plate. Um, so keep that in mind. So here's the purple and then let's do the orange and I'm just getting like a few of the colors. I just want to see if this will even work. Um, let's color that flower orange. Okay. So then, this is what she did next. This is the part that's like tripping me out. Okay, let's zoom you guys in a little bit. Sorry, I should have done that before I started coloring. Okay, so she got stamping polish to the, do this part with. Again, I'm gonna do like an experimental thing, but first, let's do it the correct way. So I'm gonna be using Twinkle Tea's um, white stamping polish and We're just gonna put a line right here. And I obviously am going to have places where this isn't working. Okay, so we scraped twice, picked up the design. Do you guys see where it's stamped at? Oh my gosh, it works. Do you guys see this? That's the Sharpie. I think scraping tight twice like spread my colors out and notice how like the brighter pink you can actually see it a little bit better up against all these other colors but you guys that totally worked let's see if it cleans off my plate you guys this is like this is all new to me. If you guys have seen this before, please tell me in the comments down below. Okay, so the deeper colors work better. So I have a deeper green that we're gonna use. And let's use this deeper blue and let's do this pretty pink again. Okay, so all you do is color this in and this time I'm not gonna use stamping polish as my um, polish that I use because I want to see if I could save my stamping polish by using non stamping polish seeing if the colors are gonna come out just as opaque that's why I left the pink the same color on this um, because that way it's like a controlled 
experiment since you know we're experimenting tonight with this whole new thing that I just found and discovered um, and like I said if you guys have done this or seen this please let me know down in the comments because um, I'm gonna ask you why you haven't told me about it sooner um, this is like way easier than reverse stamping and sometimes you just have like those delicate designs like this that you just want to have the delicacy on it and not it and you don't want to like have to reverse stamp it um, okay we're gonna do the rest of those blue Um, and I do have a stamping video of like, oh, you want the roses this color and you want this this color. Well, just place your polish and it can kind of turn out correctly. This is like way more controlled. Like, like look how pretty that looks just on the plate by itself. Okay, this time we're going to use this um, Finger Paints Neon for base, base coat for neons um, just because... It's kind of a white polish I'm trying to use up right now. So let's tr give that a whirl. Okay, this time I only scraped once. Where's my stamper? And... Okay, you guys, that did really well. Um... This deeper part did really well. I kind of wonder if the polish like set into that too much. And it might just be like trial and error, guys. It might, like, cause I like put the polish on that spot. You know what I'm saying? You might need to like do it further away. Um, but like that green and pink right there really popped and really looked good. And maybe I just need to scrape the polish more. Maybe the white polish was pulled up a little bit there and it didn't pull the colors. Okay, so let's try a different plate. I actually want to try a um, a gradient across this. So let's pull some deeper colors. And it's not gonna be like a perfect gradient. It's just like, we're gonna do this deeper pink, blue, orange, red. Um, this is the, by the way, in case you're curious, this is the Lena Make Your Mark 03 plate where you can get this blank image. Um, and I just wanna try this with some, so I'm gonna color this in and then I wanna try it with some acetone to like blur these sharp edges cause that's one thing like I feel like the stamping polish does a really good job at leaving the edges pretty crisp and clean. Um, so I just want to use it to blur these edges and see what happens. Of course, these colors aren't cohesive, so it might look muddy. Um, and let's use this fun neon yellowy color down here at the bottom. Mm, the yellow kind of mixed its own color. Okay. So then I'm just going to take some, not acetone, sorry, I said that wrong. I'm just going to take some rubbing alcohol, and all I'm going to do is just put a little bit in the cap of the bottle. And then I'm going to take one of my nail art brushes that seem to be... We're going to use this one. This is by Twinkle Tea, and it's just part of their purple collection. I'm just going to take some of that acetone or again, rubbing alcohol and just blur these edges a little bit. And that might not work. Oh no, it's working. Okay, wipe it off every time before you blur the edges. That's what I'm doing anyways. We'll see if it works that way. Um. Okay, so that one's blurred. And I just feel like this would be easier than doing it on like your nails, you know what I'm saying? You have a little bit more control if you do it beforehand. 
Okay, and the last color kind of blurs into green. Okay. And um, the trick with this is to don't let it don't let it pool. Less is more. Um, I let it pool. Oops. Anyways, okay. So now let's try. I'm gonna try finger paints white on white on this one. And I'm just gonna go next to it because whenever I stamp with this design, I go next to it anyways. I'm just gonna go next to it. And then this is when I turn my card sideways from what I usually do it as. And you can kind of see the gaps and things like that. So I scraped quite a few times. Let's pick up this design. Oop, see how that was a bad pickup. Um, but that totally worked, you guys, considering that it was a bad pickup. Like, look at the colors. Look at that rainbow. You guys. Oh. You guys can't see it. I stamped it out of frame for you. Look at that rainbow. So that was a bad pickup in the sense that I missed the middle colors right there. I also used a stamper that I usually don't use with that design. I usually do a rocking motion, and I never have a problem picking it up. So, that was fun. Let's try that one again, just because you guys missed it and it wasn't a complete design. I also want to see if maybe it wasn't my fault. Maybe it was the technique in general. Maybe that Sharpie dries faster and that middle section was already dry. I don't know. Okay, so what did we do? We like the red. Okay, so let's start here. Okay, and I'm also going to use stamping polish. I think that's also like a trick. Like it's a little bit thicker, um, so you might not be able to substitute other polishes with this. Again, I'm just taking that Twinkle T brush and going along the lines. And I'm kind of just doing like little circular motions. That seems to mix it the best. Little circular motions. Again, less is more. I kind of got it pooling again. Circular motions. That orange, I don't know if it's the pink or what, but the pink like does not want to break up its top line right there. But the orange is like, totally okay with it okay last one the orange and the red and you can just kind of dab it too and I find that mixes those colors really well okay so now that that's done I'm gonna take my twinkle tea stamping polish because we know that this will work for us I'm gonna go next to the design and then I'm going to turn my card sideways, press on the outside. Okay, this one is not working as well. Maybe I didn't put enough polish down. Okay, let's try. Where's my, where's the stamper? Okay. Dang it, you guys. Be prepared. Okay. So that definitely picked it up. Oh, you guys, I stamped it out of frame again. I'm so sorry. So that picked it up. You can kind of see where I had issues the first time with scraping it a few times. Um, like right here is where it's gappy. Again, it's just gonna be trial and error, but how amazing does that look? It's not as vibrant as this is, which leads me to believe the stamping polish mutes the colors out a little bit more. So I'm going to try another design on here with not stamping polish and see what happens because this one's a little bit more muted in pastel. I still love it. I think it's beautiful, but this one's more like bam in your face. Let's try this diagonal design right here. Um, I've been wanting to see if, so I got a silver Sharpie with this pack. Let's do some of the darker colors. Let's do silver, 
Let's do navy. Let's do this neon pink. And let's do, we have like a rust color. Oop, I'm throwing stuff. I'm so sorry, you guys. Let's do this rust color. Okay. So let's do these dots in the middle are going to be silver. And then, and again, I'm just trying to stay in the lines as best I can. I'm also kind of hurrying because I just want to see how this works. You know, like when you find something fun to experiment with, you just kind of go crazy. But do you guys hear that? Do you hear like the scratchy scratch? So I'm pretty sure like this is going to ruin the tips of the Sharpie. Um, but I don't really care because I bought it. I bought them specifically to do nail art with so we're gonna be good there okay and then let's do this rusty red color down here okay so I kind of have a pattern I'm gonna do the rust red here navy blue right here and then this neon pink is gonna go down here and you guys I just chose like random colors for this this silver is a little bit more liquidy too than the rest okay let's do I'm gonna use this base coat for neons again as my um polish to stamp with because like I said I think it made the colors more vibrant so let's flip it we're gonna flip it this way we're gonna have this card right here I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna see I'm also going to put it next to it, not on top of it like I did the last time. And I'm putting quite a bit um, because it's not a stamping polish and we are trying to pick up these other pigments. Okay, stamper. You guys. So that rust color just pulled up orange. And the silver, it kind of bled with the blue. But look... Can you even see? I keep doing that. I'm so sorry, you guys. Look how amazing that looks. Look how fun that is. That is awesome. Because you guys, I mean, even if I were to like do stamping polish and go over each of these individually, you could not, um, like even if I put a lot on it, there's a possibility of it drying and some of these dots being missed in the amount of time it takes me to scrape it, pick it up. I mean, you'd have to move really fast to do this many colors on such an intricate design like that. Like that is so cool to me. This is like a whole new world is opening up to me with this whole stamping thing. I mean, and like I said, I didn't think of this. Um, it was, let me pull her up again. This is, this is who I saw it from anyways. It's Alter Ego Nails. Um, okay, we're going to switch plates again. We're going to go back to this Easter one. And we're actually also going to switch um, what we're stamping on. Okay, so now we're going to be stamping onto this mat. This is an Uber Chic Beauty mat. They have several colors of these. Several colors. I think they just have black and clear. This one is the clear one, and I've painted the tips of these nails black so that I can... Um, test out the Sharpie stamping on this. When I was watching Alter Ego Nails do this, she was just able to stamp right over the black and you could see it. So is that going to be the case for us? I don't, I don't have a clue. I don't know. Um, but I am going to do some like deeper colors to give it a fair chance. Um, let's do, let's do this orange okay so we're gonna do this blue blue pink and orange and this is more of like a mauve color but we are gonna and I am gonna use stamping polish for this just because where I'm putting it on black that white base needs to be opaque 
Okay, so the center of this flower is gonna be this orange color. And you guys, I'm not, I'm not being very careful right now. Um, I'm more focused on experimenting and trying this stuff out for you guys rather than making it perfect. Um, I'm sure, actually I know I'm gonna have tutorials on all of this in the future just because it is such a cool process as what what this is like I'm gonna be doing this on my nails this is like the coolest thing I have discovered this year for nails um so there's that okay then let's do this pink as the flower trace and this is a bud and again she said the crisper your lines are like the less you color on the knot, like the less you color on this part right here, um, the better of a stamp you're gonna get. And I'm gonna trust her because she has some amazing work. Okay, so that's done. Again, I'm gonna take the Twinkle Tea stamping polish that I have, and I'm just gonna go next to the design. Swipe, swipe. I picked up the design and we are testing it on black. You guys, that looks like it looks. Oh my gosh, you guys, it worked. Like it worked, it really worked. I'm shocked right now. I'm literally shocked. Like. I just feel like I have to keep talking because you guys are watching. <laughs> but it worked. Like, does anybody else see this? Let's see if just coloring on it. Like, if you just color on it with your Sharpie, you can't see a thing. It's got to be the white background. My mind has been blown, you guys. This is amazing. This is like, this is like the best thing I've ever discovered since grated cheese. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is so cool. Okay, I will show you guys this. That pink Sharpie did stain my stamper a little bit. And since you can't take acetone to stampers, like, can you see it on the, like, I don't think that's coming off. Let's try this. I'm going to just do a thin, thin coat. Because I like this idea a lot, but if it's going to be staining my clear stampers, I ain't going to be digging that. So I'm just taking a thin coat of nail polish right now, which it does look like it will take it off. It's kind of smeared the pink around a little bit. Um, I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. But you guys, can we check this out? Like this makes me want to do all the black nails for Halloween. Ooh, ooh, let me get out the, oh no, where'd this thing go? There it is. That's not as pretty as all the other ones, but what you gonna do? Okay. So you guys, now this makes me want to get out my Halloween plate. Okay, and I also want to try some pastel -y colors because we're doing a test, guys. Okay, so I have my Halloween plate out. Oh, you guys, I've never used it. Look at this. Look, look, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. okay, this is dry now. Let's see if it saves my stamper. I'm just using the clear plastic I just got off the plate to take off this. Okay, that worked. So if that happens to you and the design gets stuck, just put some polish on your stamper and it'll take it off. So that was a good, a good save. Okay, oh, you guys, I keep messing this one up. Oh, I'm just, I just, I just, I just wanna experiment with you guys and I just wanna stamp stuff. Okay. Take three on this nail. Let's give it another good base coat. You guys, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I think I have two other nails on the other side that we're just gonna be okay with. 
in life right now. Okay. So there they are. We're gonna use this Halloween plate and we're gonna use these pastel -y colors because I wanna see if they'll stamp on the black. Obviously, they're gonna stamp on lighter colored nails because everything else has, um, but I wanna see if these will. So let's start with, okay, you guys, this one. This is one, I bought this plate specifically for this, cut, for this girl right here um, because I think she's so cute. Let me get a... Okay, I want this pastel purple too. Okay, I'm gonna color her hair purple. This one I actually am probably gonna take my time on a little bit more because she's so cute. Okay, and then her little arm is gonna be pink. This is like a pastel pink, so I'm using it as like a skin color. Um, and then her cute little witch legs. Okay, and then let's use this pastel orange for her pumpkin down here. And the fun thing about the Sharpies too, guys, is you don't have to rush. Because it's a Sharpie, it's gonna dry, and that polish reactivates it. So like, that's like the fun thing. Like, you don't have to be like, oh crap, we're running out of time, hurry. You can kind of dress it up a little bit more. Her hat's gonna be blue too. Um, then her broomstick is gonna be yellow this pastel yellow color. And then let's do this green across these little parts down here. And we're gonna do the bat screen too. Okay, there's a bat. Okay, now let's do, what color haven't we used? Let's do the rest of it purple just to save on time. Now, if I was putting this on white, of course I'd make it more like true to color. Oh, I just colored over that bat that was already green. Oopsie, guess we're gonna see how mixing colors works right now too. Okay, you guys, so let's take this Twinkle Tea Stamping Polish. Ooh, I kind of put this on top. I forgot I didn't wanna do that. Okay, let's scrape it off. Let's press down. Again, these were the pastel colors, so if they don't show up that well, that's probably why. But you guys, considering that they were pastels, look how look how good they did. They did a pretty dang good job. I mean, considering. And again, I said it wasn't perfect, but like these little intricate designs are perfect for Sharpie, Sharpie land, because Something this small, I can't color in with my nail polish without getting it everywhere. So like something like this is perfect for this Sharpie stamping. Um, I would definitely not use so many pastel colors on something this intricate. Like let's try, let's try this cute um, Happy Halloween and we're just gonna use two colors. We're just gonna use, um, yellow and purple and I'm just going to try my best to just do the happy in purple okay and then we're going to do the spider web in yellow Um, the fun thing about this too is I have a daughter that would love to color her own design and then I could stamp it for her because she doesn't quite have the hang of stamping yet. Okay, we're gonna go above. We're gonna do a little bit more. Okay, so we just went above. We're gonna go over, okay. Oh, you guys, this is gonna be so cute. I'm just taking my scraping card and cleaning up around the edges that I know will get on the design. And then let's put it on this finger right here and I'll turn it towards you guys. I may have waited too long, it may be dry. <gasps> you guys, look how cute that one is. Okay, so the pastels do work. Just don't use like six pastel colors in one that's in this intricate. 
but this did work. Um, the yellow did bleed onto the purple a little bit, but it kind of made it like an orange gradient down to purple, which I think is cool. Here, I'll zoom you guys in. So here's those two designs. Um, again, like I said, don't use five colors on one that, that's this intricate. When they're intricate like this, just use like one or two and stick to those basics. But you guys, this is a hack that I just discovered and I can't believe it's not floating around the internet more often. I can't believe people aren't showing it around more often. Um, here's that neat, that deeper colors one on the black. Like, how amazing is that? I don't even think stamping polish can do that good of a job. Like, it just looks amazing to me. Anyways, I hope this was helpful to you guys. It certainly was helpful to me. Um, and again, just for reference, here is the Sharpie stamping on white. It is very vibrant and beautiful. Um, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Click that thumbs up button if you found this as cool and amazing as I did. And as always, be polished, wear polished, and a little superstition never hurt. We'll catch you guys later. Bye!